Well, if I had a vote for NBA 2017-18 MVP, it would be for LeBron James of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Is there a proximity bias in that? Sure there is. I'm not going to apologize for that. I just think that somebody who's been in Cleveland and the Cleveland area and watched LeBron James, I've had the opportunity to watch the vast majority of his games on television and follow the Cavaliers season closely. I think somebody like that uh, has every right to say LeBron James deserves MVP without apologizing for it. Just as, for example, those in the Houston area can say they watch James Harden play the majority or all of his games and they think he's deserving of it. I can only speak for what I've seen this season and what I saw was an absolutely magnificent season from LeBron James. Happened to be his 15th season, by the way, but even if it was his second season, it was magnificent. You didn't have to have history as the backdrop to recognize how great he was. All right, you know, and here's the thing. He's going to finish having played all 82 games, and he's going to lead his team in games, minutes, points, assists, rebounds, blocks, and steals. And a few of those stats, he's going to lead by a comfortable margin. And oh, by the way, he will have carried his team to a 50-plus victory season and the playoffs. So he didn't just do it stuff in the stat sheet for some bad team. If you didn't have LeBron James in the mix for the Cleveland Cavaliers this year, where do you think they would be? Probably a lottery team. I hate to say as a disrespect to the other guys on the team. But not only did LeBron put up great numbers, you think about what was happening around him while he was doing it. He had players being traded. He had players being acquired. He had one particular little guy yapping and screaming. He survived that. Uh, He had guys who were injured. He had guys who were sick. He had a coach who was out for a while because of illness. But the one constant that the Cavaliers had was number 23, LeBron James. And again, in his 15th season, it would have been easy for him to take a night off here or there. But he didn't. He was there every single night, and he was putting up spectacular numbers seemingly every other night, doing something dramatic, something historic, something amazing on the court. So when you look at the totality of LeBron's season, the fact that he was the one constant in a 50-plus victory team, uh, and the fact that he put up historic numbers, I think he deserves the MVP and I shouldn't have to apologize for it.